Hello. Hello. And welcome, or welcome back to Party Trick Astrology. I'm Nina. I'm Shayna. And I've been looking at the viewfinder this whole time. I'm Nina. I'm Shayna. And this is What We Hate About Your Sign. Aquarius. Through Pisces. AKA, actually, all of our favorite signs. All right, we're back with Aquarius. We watched an episode of Are You The One? We had some pizza. Aquarius. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's Nina's sign, that's why. Yeah. Did that in case you needed to okay. me to um, explain the joke. Because I know you plebeians don't understand jokes. Right. I'm only talking to the Aquarius this year, they're on the same wavelength as me. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, here's the thing about Aquarius, right? It's it's in its detriment. Aquarius sun is in its detriment. It's because Aquarius is the opposite of Leo, and Leo is all about ego. And Aquarius is not about ego. So to put the sign of Aquarius in the sun, which is all about the ego, it's really just not a good combination, honestly. And then if you put it in anything else, like a rising, then you're portraying as if you don't have an ego when truthfully you do, you know? It's just a very nonsensical combination. And this is how it happens. Oh it my god, you are on your high horse about <laughs> being an Aquarius. It sun makes you right no listen. You're I, like, listen, let me teach everyone about what it's like to be an Aquarius. I'm getting to the part where it's shit, okay? The th major thing about Aquarius energy is that you don't practice what you preach. You put everyone else on such a high pedestal. You expect so much, and honestly, as an Aquarius, I expect a lot from you, Aquarius, and you don't deliver. You don't. You talk and talk and talk and talk about all the things that are right, that you know are right, but at the end of the day, you don't practice what you preach. I've gone back on my word before, but there's something very prideful about Aquarius that doesn't make sense with the sign. Like it shouldn't be so egotistical, but it is. So it creates very defensive people who really don't want to be wrong. Oh yeah, like people say like Capricorns don't want to be wrong. It's not that we don't want to be wrong, it's that we want to be right. Aquariuses don't want to be wrong. Exactly. They don't want to admit their wrongdoings or their failures or that they're wrong or that they misstepped. So they will just stay convincing everyone else yeah. and imparting the wisdom upon thee to let them know that Acting they're Acting as if they're above everybody else. And honestly, Aquarius rising most likely to tell people to go vegan when they're like pescatarian. Mm -hmm. Like straight up. Oh yeah. It's such a thing. Aquarius um, rising and, most likely to be like, I come off as intimidating? No. But here's the thing, Aquarius, love it. Aquariuses are very awkward. Aquariuses are like social outcasts. That's how we feel because we're ruled by Uranus, which is such an outer planet. We can get defensive because we don't, it, it's triggering. That's what it is. It's triggering to be told that we're wrong, that we're not in the right, because we already feel so isolated and so out of place and everything that it's very triggering and a lot of people that are Aquarius or have Aquarius energy can get really defensive because of it. It's a fixed sign, so it can get very stubborn about how they are and not wanting to be that way. Aquarius is also very idealistic and they can want to idealize themselves. That's why Aquarius have super high, thick walls. Because this is a roast, Nina, not a heart to heart. <laughs> you bitches have such high, thick walls. Just raising the tone doesn't equal like roast. <laughs> like, this is a this is a normal conversation. This is a roast. <laughs> if I scream at them, it's intimidating. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. So you guys, you put up all these walls thinking that it's protecting you, thinking that you're so cool and so aloof, but it's not doing you any favors because the only way for you to actually get the love that you want is to actually just be yourself, which you're so afraid of. You promote individuality to the nth degree, but in reality, you are so afraid that you're different and you're so <laughs> awkward that you're different. So you pretend like you're too cool for school and you put on all these masks of how much better you are than everybody else because secretly, secretly, you think everyone is better than you. It's true. Mm -hmm. And this isn't me subtweeting Nina because if it was, I'd tell Nina. But <laughs> well, looking at other Aquariuses, 
uh, or certain certain Aquarius suns, it's like to me, to autistic Shayna, I'm like these people are aloof. They don't want me to be talking to them. They don't want this. They don't want that. Blah blah blah. But now I've learned like. Those are the people that like yearn for it the most. Mm -hmm. I know that's like common sense that like most people know, but I don't know. That. <laughs> it's just so paradoxical because Aquarius is all about the community, right? But then like to the subjects or the plebeians of the world who they, you know, are actually incredibly insecure around. They're so insecure around, they feel so uncomfortable that that's why the walls go up. And also like Nobody's gonna want to approach you um, like uh, if you if you act that way if, This is I'm more thinking of like Aquarius risings looking at an Aquarius rising. It's like you just don't you're not friendly mm -hmm. Like you're not fucking friendly at all like you're being a bitch like Aquarius risings are the most likely to like Just like you feel the judgment vibes Absolutely. Before you even get to them. It's like why why are you immediately like putting someone on a certain pedestal of like who are you above me? Or are you below me? Like I don't think like that like why are you thinking like that? I just wanted like who's this person do I like them do I not and you're the Aquarius thought is, do I like them, do I love It's like, who's above and who's below? Absolutely. And I want to be above, so I'm going to pretend like you don't matter to me. Right. Like, that's how little, like, that's how much above you I am. That's the disgusting part about it, is that to earn um, likability from others, you act like a total dick because you think that to, that to earn likability from others is about talking about how much better you are than them. Mm -hmm. How much, because you don't understand like equality, like it's strange. You should understand equality, but for some reason you don't. You understand it on like, practice and you preach it on practice, but when it comes like, like in the grand scheme of things, you understand like, yeah. you understand equality, you understand this, like that kind but of stuff. But you feel like you're like, below other people, so you feel like you need to overcompensate and talk about how great you are. And it really puts other people off. Yeah. It really puts it's other like, people off. I was never saying you were bad. Yeah. Yeah, but now, you feel like such a need to prove that you're better than other people and it all comes from insecurity. It all comes from you thinking that you're so much less than other people. Mm -hmm. And so you need to be like, listen, oh my God, Aquarius risings are the most likely to tell you that they're like so much more spiritual than you. To yeah. belittle your spirituality, to belittle like any experience that you have, they will try to one up you. They think that it's because it's going to put them in your favor because they're going to be so cool and you're going to so want to be around them because they're so cool. But in reality, it makes you super unlikable. Mm -hmm. Mars in Aquarius is can be pretty fucking annoying to have any kind of debate with because they like to be in debates, but they only like to be in the debates that they talk the entire time and that like you're agreeing with them in. Totally. You know? And like they'll stand by these stupidest things. Like, okay, I know this person that has... An Aquarius Mars, and I'm gonna use an actual example because I highly doubt they're watching this video. If they are, that's hilarious. Okay, but this person loves the weekend, and everybody, this is in high school, everybody shat on the weekend, okay? In my high school, everybody was like, who, why the fuck do you like the weekend, right? So as an Aquarius Mars, he's not going to hide the fact that he likes the weekend, he's gonna tell everyone how much he loves the weekend and how he doesn't care what you think even though it hurts him so much that everybody thinks the weekend is lame it hurts him so instead he's gonna turn around and be like i don't care here's how much i don't care but everybody's like we're not fighting you that hard on this. Like Aquariuses think that people are paying more attention to them than they than people actually are. And it's because you care too much. And the yeah. thing is, you're trying so hard to make it seem like you don't care. But you care the most. You do. I'm going to tell now a story about an Aquarius rising because this is just, it rubbed me the wrong way so much. We were talking about spirituality. Anything that I would say, it would be like, oh, but you're only into astrology. Like there's so much more than astrology. And like just because we have an astrology channel and we do funny like fucking drunk videos and drag <laughs> me's doesn't mean that this is the extent of my spiritual practice. Yeah. You know, but it's like and you're even if it only is into astrology. What's, what does that mean though? You never clear that from when I'm the most spiritual person in the world. Like no, you're on your own oh, spiritual journey. Exactly. But this person was just telling me like I am so much more spiritual because I do this and that and then just like talking and talking and talking and talking. We were on set. And then I started telling, she asked me a question and I was like, oh, well actually something about my South node in Pisces. And I start talking for like less than 30 seconds and she catches someone else's attention and is like, oh, we should probably start filming soon, shouldn't we? 
Like that is so fucking disrespectful because you're so just wrapped up about how you come across, how you are perceived, because you're so insecure about being the odd one out. Aquarius is most likely to be like, oh well, actually, totally. Because you just did that. <laughs> you just did that when you were explaining. But you're, you're like, oh well, actually, my Pisces South node. Oh yeah. <laughs> you think that you're so like misinterpreted. Like number one feels oh, like they're misunderstood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh my God, my favorite album in like eighth grade was Pink Misunderstood. And like the way that it was spelled and everything. It was just like, this uh, is so me. But like, that's so That's funny. why you're always putting caveats and explaining yourself. Cause you're just like, I'm so misunderstood. And truthfully, why is that? It's your own fault. So you put up all those fucking walls and you want to seem too cool for school and you want to protect yourself from being hurt and that's only hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. You want to think that you're woke? Have some self-awareness about how much you're sabotaging yourself. <laughs> Aquarius is another sign that wants recognition, but they need recognition for all the things they've done for humanity. humanity. Like, they would donate things, like donate things, but like have their name on it. Mm -hmm. It's a really ugly part of Aquarius. As a humanitarian, every time that you do do something that helps humanity, you do think about how people are gonna admire you for doing that. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's because your ego is so wrapped up in the collective mm -hmm. that you're like, think of what everybody now is gonna think of me. Exactly. What everybody's gonna think of me. Yeah. Who am I to think of me? Most likely to. What did I say earlier? But oh actually, well. I would actually. say I would say most likely to not practice what they preach. Yes. Oh my god, cult leaders, Aquarius, Ooh. they expect you to do all that stuff, but like they're totally. not gonna drink the Kool Aid. Totally. Most likely not Pisces. So yes, we did just move locations for Pisces in true Neptunian form. Absolutely. Expect the unexpected. Okay. Pisces. Boy. I man, oh man. You're such a mess. It's really just Pisces energy that I've been experiencing as of recent. Mm. I just can't fathom how the thought process. delusional y'all can be. Like, just wow. It's very delusional. I can't even. This isn't making any sense. <laughs> okay, so what I'd say about Pisces is like, there's the 12 signs of the zodiac. You think they're the most. Mature, evolved, the most evolved, and I think that can be very true if put in a evolved person's chart. Pisces is, on a lot of the terms, is something to reach for Absolutely. and something to admire. But with the way that our world is, who's really evolved nowadays? So the unevolved Pisces is the majority of Pisces. They are the most immature, immature of the entire population. They can be more immature than. Aries, I think, because at least Aries lives in the present moment, lives Absolutely. in the world, is knowing what's going on, is the here and the now. Pisces Unevolved is so just not here. Where right. are you? You're not transited into the next world. You're transited into fucking nowhere land. That's the thing. At the end of the day, you're like, in this world. You need to deal yeah. with the realities of this world world. You can't deal with the realities of what you want to believe. You can't put your ideas of how something should be or how someone else should be. Y'all, Neptune's a bitch. Neptune is so creative. You guys are very creative, right? But y'all can't get anything done. You can't do anything with the creativity that you were blessed with. You have all this imagination, but actually doing it, sitting down, planning it, figuring it out, having the motivation to do it, uh, not getting distracted by this week's emotional roller coaster that you've been through. Perception is reality, but there's also something to say about knowing that perception is reality. You just get caught up in your own perception. You get so caught up in it. You are, so, it's so difficult for some Pisces influenced people to just truly accept reality and that has to do with accepting other people's truth 
you know, listening to other people. You know, you're so psychic, but sometimes you can be so delusional that you can't pick up A and B of like what someone is putting off okay. for you. Yeah, like the issue is you're so accepting of people's faults that you don't accept their truth. Mm. Like you don't accept the true reality of the person. You know, and that's why you get involved with these fucking ridiculous people. And you also can't accept the truth of life. Like Pisces are the kind of people that you need to censor reality around. Pisces are the kind of people and this is a very personal story. Uh, I want to tell the story, but because mm, this pissed me the fuck off. So my mom was recently diagnosed with cancer. And while we were in, I was with my dad and my aunt and they're both Pisces. And while we were, oh my God, it was so Pisces though. Because the whole time, the whole three and a half hours that we were waiting for the surgery, they were just distracting themselves with television shows. And they were like, just, which I, I admired that. I think that's cool. That's good job, Pisces. Sometimes you have to. But the person came out and she told us that my mom had cancer. We found out and then we were trying to figure out if we were going to tell my mom because she's in anesthesia, all that stuff, right? And I'm under, like, my I'm a Capricorn moon, my mom's Capricorn moon. I'm like, she wants us to tell her. She wants to know. We don't tell her until she asks. Yeah, it would be very rude to just know something, to admit that kind of information that is so important to the person who needs to know. But... You don't actually care about other people's truths. You only care about your truth. Yeah, so this is what my aunt proposed. Because my dad was on the fence either way. And my aunt was like, mm, I don't know. Why don't we tell her, like, we'll tell you later and let the doctor say the C word. <laughs> and I was like, the C word? <laughs> Nothing has gotten me more upset than when she said the C word. I'm like, it's cancer! Pisces, shake, wake up to reality, say yeah. the fucking word cancer. Like, I hate when Pisces pull that shit. Like, they're too scared of reality that they need to censor reality around everyone else that's around them because they're too scared of it. And then you need to censor things around Pisces because if you're, if you say something too bad or if you tell them the reality of the scenario or if you push them down to earth, it hurts them and you're there like, how dare you hurt me? Oh my gosh, I'm so emotional. You know you can't do this to me. Did me, this emotional, pretty, petite creature, confront me with reality? Ah, my eyes! My eyes! Like, you've been living in this dark cave your entire life, and then you see, isn't that a thing you said the other day? Yeah, and you see that little bit of light, and your eyes have adjusted to the dark, but the light comes in, and you're like, ah, ah, no, ah, 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 look at my fucking face! No, no, ah, ah, drugs, weed, smoke, everything, alcohol, escape, TV, naps, nothing is real except for the escapism that I live in. There's responsibility is an issue for you guys. Oh my god, yeah. A victimhood. Like, you all suck at like keeping plans. Like number one most likely to flake on plans more than anybody and not tell you that they're flaking on them is Pisces. Like Cancer gonna flake on plans but like they're gonna be like hey I just want to stay home and you're like okay Cancer. Totally. Fine. I get that. I'm talking Cancers above Pisces right now. Ooh, this is a big deal. Because wow. that's respect that I have for Cancer is they'll tell you if they just want to stay home. Pisces doesn't tell you because they're fucking asleep and they don't care about you. They're not thinking about you and the fact that they're wait like someone's waiting on them because what's time? Pisces doesn't know what time is what's the time is time is abstract time isn't real i can be late everywhere i go they'll schedule a doctor's appointment for 3 30 and then 3 30 rolls around and they're still at brunch and their doctor calls them and they're like oh um hi so you have an appointment right now at 3 30 and pisces is like oh my god yeah so i'm just gonna be leaving now i'll be there i'll be there soon i'll be there soon like soon like 30 minutes from now pisces thinks that they'll show up to the doctor 30 minutes after their actual appointment and that they're still entitled to get that treatment or to get their massage or Because they're like, whatever. what's time? Yeah. We're they, all just living in this world. And ah! it's, just like, it's so delusional and so in tune with whatever they want to believe. Mm -hmm. Think about your place in the world and of actual reality and think about other people's realities because Pisces are the number one people to project what they want to believe onto you. That is something that absolutely disgusts me to my core. I do not like being seen for what I'm not. Yeah. And I never portray something that I'm not. So it bothers me to my core when somebody tells me that I'm something that I'm not and it's always fucking Pisces. Yes. 
I can and Scorpios. I can attest to that. But Pisces more than Pisces. anything yeah. put it on you. Absolutely. Also, Pisces are the number one romanticizers of scenarios and like romanticizers of the things that should not be romanticized. Yes. Like number one romanticizes drugs. Like more than anything, like the cigarette smoking, like y'all have the worst taste in celebrities. Oh my god, because you like the people that just live in infamy. Like they don't have to be anything or anyone, but you're like, they're pretty and sparkly and they'll live in infamy and I have this poster of Marilyn Monroe on my wall because Neptune in the first house and I like Pisces or Amanda. I'm not saying that like I'm not shitting on Marilyn Monroe. I don't think there's anything wrong with her. But I think that the hype around her is way too much. It's absolutely because, because of her Neptune in the, of first the Neptune, house. Yeah, because of that romanticization. Think about like Megan Fox having Marilyn Monroe tattooed on her arm. Oh, she does? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Because Megan Fox is also like one of those people that people yeah. are like, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. And guess what? They don't like that. Marilyn Monroe wasn't all about it. Yeah, that's what the thing is. People with Pisces and Pisces moon and Pisces things, they look at women like Marilyn Monroe and Megan Fox and they're like, oh my God, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And the hardest thing that you have to deal in life is that people want to fuck you. Listen, it's not as fun as you think, you dirty old man. <laughs> Have some actual compassion for, it's not just like, oh my God, someone wants to fuck me. <laughs> Listen. Bound, that's a thing. Boundaries. boundaries. Pisces don't have boundaries. They're like, nothing is off. My love limits. knows no bounds and I love you. Oh. You don't love me? Ask it on the floor? What do you mean? Uh. Uh. You're mine because you're beautiful and I want you to be yeah. mine. Oh, you don't want me to be yours? Huh? Well, I don't understand. That's, that's my not reality. compute. That's no. not my reality. See, you want to be with me. Rose tinted glass, like shield. Yeah. Oh, negative thing. <laughs> Yeah, the thing that doesn't match my idea of what the world should be like. <laughs> <laughs> just at the end of the day, like so many Pisces are just such messes. Mm -hmm. Like they make everything so messy. And we get it, Pisces. You're not out to hurt anyone for the most part. But the unevolved Pisces doesn't know how to live in this world and think about other people and uh, do and really just accept reality. reality. And accept reality. Accept other people's reality. They can wind up leaving just a trail of wrecking everything that they touch comes in and blah, 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 and then it's like, what? I didn't do anything. You know what I mean? Just like turn in in the moment. Things, victim mentality. Yeah, yeah, victim mentality. Oh, but we didn't a different, even touch on Mars and Pisces. But in a different way than Cancer's victim mentality because in the moment they're admitting their faults, but then later on they're like, what? No, I didn't think that. No, I didn't do that. It, it's weird. It's like they go back on their word or they'll do the other way. It, it's, it's mutable. So it's just like, Whatever's convenient. Whatever's convenient. Whatever, yeah, whatever I guess that's fits, what it is. Whatever fits their idea of what something should be. Yeah. Pisces is like, whatever I want to believe is reality. And whatever and I want to believe is the most convenient thing at the time. You don't understand how that affects other people. You're very aware of what other people undo unto others, which is why you're like the best person to come cry to and all that stuff. But like, you don't, you're not aware of what you undo unto others. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm done with my alcohol, but for the sake of the cheers. So what is Pisces? Most likely to... To run a Tumblr account that, that is in love says... with the school shooters of Columbine. Absolutely. Like, you guys own that those what fucking Tumblr accounts. That's Pisces. Y'all created the terrible shit that is Tumblr. Yeah, that Tumblr came about with Neptune and Pisces. That's how it happened. With that being said, this has been what we hate about your sign. Please understand that this isn't necessarily always what we hate about you, random viewer. But we, we don't know you. We don't know you, unless we do know you, and unless we have been talking about you. Like Shane is on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, we have one more fun video coming up. It's a little surprise. And then we're going to be going on a short few weeks break. But don't worry. We'll, we'll be, be back. back with a new series. And we hope you guys have a great October. Happy Halloween, y'all. Fucking get out your crystals and goblins and ghosts and seances in time for Halloween. Wait. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's morning. I actually hope you enjoyed it. We hope you got a laugh. And yes, we are over 21. We are. Bye. Bye.